Last time on Crew vs XCOM Enemy Unknown, we pretty much had to get ourselves through an impossible battle and somehow we did it without losing a single person. I mean, like, I, I did heavily wound Captain Fluke and Tide, but uh, we're not going to mention that. Anyway, going to Mission Control, if I'm correct, in a couple of days I get the satellite and I can also I can fulfill the request from North America, so I'm going to wait until that happens. Hopefully there isn't an abduction. Yep, there we go. There's the satellite. I'm not going to sign any new projects, I don't think I need to. And, alright. Oh, okay. Okay, the request has expired, so I didn't get the timings right. That's not all to loss. I suppose I still have a satellite, but I need another uplink, and I can't build another uplink until I have more engineers. So, uh, how long until I get my next payment? Six days. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to scan anyway, because I don't need to do a mission if it comes up. I can still do a few new things, so research. There we go, I can finally build a scope, which everyone has been bugging me to do for fuck knows how long. Um, yep, new scope, I shall probably build those as soon as I get my money. Now, what next? Beam weapons, skeleton unit. You see, I'm not going to build a skeleton unit, I know it's good and everything, but 20 days, probably not going to live that long, and I've also just got the carapace armor, so... Uh, should I do autopsies, interrogations, experimental warfare? Right, I need to think... I do need new weapons, but can I actually build new weapons? Like, have I got enough money and stuff? Ugh. Alright. I don't think I'm going to bother with new weapons yet. I don't think I need to. So, this is a fundamental research thing, so I'm going to do experimental... Oh, in fact, uh, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to interrogate the floater. I mean, I went through a hell of a load of trouble to get that thing or to capture it, so I might as well interrogate it. Let's give it because I've seen that hundreds of times before and it's not too important. I'll be in four days, and once again, I'm going to wait out Mission Control to see if I can get to the Council Report and get my funds. Please, please, please. Kane, no, not giving you any love. Ooh! Is that... Hello, is that... Ah, oh, okay, that's not That's not good. That is far from good news. Also, just realised I made a huge mistake. Wait, grade B? I lost two people's support. How is that grade B? That's not excellent work. Fuck you. Okay, carry on. I nearly lost all of Asia, I think it was. Can I get through to the interrogation? Yes, I can. Alright, what did I learn from that? Basic armor tech. Armor tech. Yeah, great. Because I needed more armor. Right after researching Carapace armor. Okay, what about autopsies? Implants? Nah. Uh, right, Thin Man Sectoid or Floater? I'll go for the floaters, because I fucking hate the floaters, so I'm going to research their well, so autopsy. I'm, sure I'm going to do an autopsy on their body. And I'm not. I've got money now, I think. Yep, I've got money. So, first of all, I need to. Oh, this is annoying. I need to build a satellite uplink there, but I need the engineers, so I can't do that. So, I need to build a engineer for Muma Bob, but I can't do it there because I need a power generator there. I could do it there. Yes, can do it there, and put a power generator here, because if, they, if they're adjacent to a building at the same time, they get a extra bonus, so I get two extra power. So I'm going to build that, that costs 60, that's a fair amount of money, but then also, I'll take five days. I'm going to go to the situation room, go to the grey market, and sell these, because these are absolutely useless, they're basically vendor trash or the equivalent of, that'll get me some more money. And I'm going to keep these, because they can be used for research, that can be used for building stuff. I'm going to keep these until I absolutely need money. So, complete transaction. There's a bit more money, and I don't think I need to build anything. I'll quickly check engineering. Medkit, arc for Oh, scope. I said I was going to get scopes. Now, hmm, I'm not sure who to give these to. I'm only going to get one right now. Only five engineers. Carapace armor, need more engineers. Satellite. Hmm, I would build a satellite, but I've already got one, and I haven't got enough satellite on things, so I'm just going to leave that. Hire more soldiers, I need one more rookie, so I'll do that. And God, this is so much management, Jesus Christ. And I think all I can do right now is wait. So three days, new soldiers arrive in XCOM, that'll be the rookie I gained from last episode. They want alloys, they only want 12, and ooh, only 12 alloys, and they're going to give me $135, yes please. That was really lucky, for once. Come on, no abductions, please. There we go. I I've gone like 20 days without an abduction, what the hell? Uh, news research. What did I get from that? Defense Matrix Dodge available. I have no idea what that is. Seriously, I've like played this through before and I've I can't remember that. Available for manufacturer. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's for things for the ships. That just allows them to take down UFOs easier. That's not too important, not gonna lie. 
and it's kind of putting me off doing more autopsies, but I'm going to do autopsies because, again, they're fundamentals Please. of research and they're quite important. Right, so wait it out again, and I might even be able to get the power generator built and that room excavated, I think. They were both the same amount of time, so can I do it? Can I do it? Yes, I can. Jesus Christ, how am I getting so lucky? Right, finally I can build a... I can build a... Where is it? Workshop. I definitely need a workshop. I need this so badly. So, finally, that will take... How long does that take to build? That takes 10 days. Oh, I'm not going to last that long. I need that so badly so I can get the satellite uplink. And so I can get the, um... The... What do we call it? The armor. And I might as well build an access lift. That's only 50? Yeah, that's only 50. And again, it does cost maintenance. Hmm... Okay, I'm going to build that at the end of a month so it doesn't subtract my monthly incomings. And sorry if you're getting bored by this point and you actually want some gameplay, but this is important shit, I can't just go skipping it. And autopsy complete, uplink targeting... Ah, oh, this is all ship bonuses, I don't need ship bonuses. Or oh, ship bonuses, should I call them? Do I want to do that? I'm going to skip that one, fuck it. I want experimental warfare, a important fundamental, and I'll research fast. Oh, I might even be able to do it by the end of the next abduction. There's another satellite. I don't need more satellites, I need more uplinks. Uh, one sec. Is there anything new I can build? I feel as though I'm going in circles here. Oh, I literally am. I... Uh, satellite corpse. I'm gonna get that in case there's a UFO that I do need to take down. I'll just get one. Because that's pretty damn cheap. And also, my new recruit should be in, shouldn't he? Few soldiers. Yeah, there. So I'm going to call this, uh, customize, you can be called Rocky number two, I think, there we go, Rocky number two. And there we go, there's my two rookies which I need to train at, no not Tan V2, what the hell? Sorry about this guys, these are the two rookies which I gained from doing the challenges, and for this episode I'm not, no not William, why am I typing my name? For about, like, uh, there we go. Reactions. Yeah, those are the rookies I earned from the challenges, and I'm not going to have a challenge this episode because I'm not too low on soldiers. Oh, I've only got seven, but I'm not too low on soldiers. I need to train them, get promotion, see what class they are, then assign them a name from someone who died in the past due to my incompetence. I think I've been going for about five or ten minutes now, and finally, abduction. There we go, that's what I was expecting. Right. Engineers. I want engineers. That's very difficult, though. New recruit. I don't really. I do need a new recruit. But I need engineers. But I'm building a... Ah, oh, fuck, I hate these choices so much. Alright, panic level. I'm definitely not doing that one because it's kind of cheating getting new recruits based on the fact I'm meant to have expendable or non-expendable units. That's very difficult. That's very difficult. Uh, but they're panicking. Oh, I can't lose any more people. I've already lost three countries or council support, so I'm going to have to do this one. So I'm going for a very difficult mission with the engineers as a reward. Now I need to decide my team. I really, really want to bring a rookie on. I want to bring a rookie on so bad. But if it's a very difficult mission, I don't know if I want to take that risk. Oh, I like my sports. I like my snipers. Uh, I'm definitely going to give Gubiak the aim module, actually, because he already has a rocket launch. He doesn't need grenades. But the question is, do I... Oh, did I get armor? No, I, did, I don't think I built armor. Yeah, I definitely didn't get armor because I didn't have the engineers, did I? No. Okay. So, I'm not going to bring any rookies on this mission. I'm just going to bring a train squad. For rookies, I'm going to save for the easy missions. So, this mission is going to be with Fluke, Gubiak, Peace, and Tide. So, let's fucking go. Using all the experience I've gained from the challenges and my mistakes. Hopefully, this sh I know it's very difficult, but it shouldn't be very difficult. As long as I stick to my strategies, tactics, whatever. I think it's just a mission where I kill the aliens, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm just going to quickly move my laptop because I was about to fall off my goddamn desk. Uh, right, so I want to get inside this building. Is there any high ground? Yes, there is high ground, but do I want high ground if the enemy's going to be inside the building? Can't tell at this current moment in time, so I'm going to move people in close. Let's see if I can scout out any enemies. There we go, instantly a few enemies. Loving the jazz, loving the jazz so much. Two floaters, and I'll be able to take shots on them, actually. I'll be able to take shots with nearly every single one of my units. Hmm, can I... You have a 38% chance to hit. That's not too good. I... If I move Fluke there, he'll be exposed. If I move... Ooh, I could run and gun and get an instant shot on that guy. Uh, I don't know where the other one's gone, so I might... Hmm. What's your chance to hit? 38% chance again. Not liking those odds too much. P 
piece can't fire after moving. Fluke, you are going to be honoured with the privilege of running in... No wait, Fluke's the better one, so I'm going to move him in there. Tide, you're going to be honoured with the privilege of running in here. With running gun, and seeing if you can see the other alien. So, move you in there. And hopefully you can see where the other guy is, and possibly take a shot on him. There he is. So, did I get the flank bonus? Yes, I did! Ooh, liking those odds very, very much. 100% chance to hit, 5 damage, come on, I must kill him. There we go, 7 critical too. So now move Fluke in. I don't want to get cocky, I really don't want to get cocky, so I'm still going to play somewhat tactically. But fuck you, Hollow, taking my piss, I'm not taking any more risks. Fuck the risks, that's not my style of play anymore. You see, it, you saw how it went in the first few episodes. Alright, 5, yep, 100% chance to hit, flanked, 5 damage. If this doesn't kill him, then fuck my life, basically. There we go. I should just try to capture one of them. No, wait, I've already captured one of them, haven't I? Alright, Gubiak. Uh, might as well just put you on Overwatch for now. And Peace, I do want you on the roof, because this building is definitely empty. So, that's another building there, actually. Alright, I'm still having Peace on the roof, I think. So, Peace... Wait, yeah, you can go up the drain pipe. So, Peace, you're running in there. And that will be the end of my turn, methinks. So, let's see if we can hear any more aliens. I don't know how you hear aliens. I think it's just if you're within the general proximity. But it doesn't happen all the time, so I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. There's no door going into the adjacent building, so I'm going to have to go in through the outside. There's plenty of cover out here, so... Oh, in fact, in that case, I don't want peace on the roof. I want peace behind that car. But, Gubiak, first of all... In fact, no peace, first of all. Where are you, peace? Peace. Peace, you can run in... You're not going to dash all the way over there. That's far too risky. You're going to run in behind this car. Then, Luke, oh god, that scares me so much when they kick open the doors, it pisses me off. Why is the camera, why is the camera doing, oh god, this has happened before. That's the most annoying thing. Also, I can hear an alien. Not sure what's, why is the camera doing that again? Uh, technical difficulties, video, V-Sync, no, why is V-Sync on? I do not want V-Sync. Oh, oh god. Oh god, what have I done? Have I, have I broken it? I think I've broken it. Oh shit. Hopefully the saved. I know it is Iron Man, so you can't usually go back and load. So it should have saved after my last turn, I believe. It's like automatically saves after every turn you make. That's the whole point of Iron Man mode. You can't go back and... Yeah, okay, there we go. Right, uh, where's the battle music? Really sorry about that. At least, at least it did kind of save my progress. I was worried I would have lost everything, including all the footage. But luckily I managed to recover it. What's the move I just made? I moved piece over to... I think it was this car. Yep, I moved piece over there. And the fact that there's battle music is really putting me off, because it makes me feel as though I'm exposed or I haven't killed something. Oh, I can... yeah, I can even hear them. Okay, this is really annoying now. I kind of want to move people around the back of that building, but... Oh, shit, there's another building across the road. Oh, shite. Yeah, I'm, I'm not splitting my troops up. They are all sticking together. Their running gun is on cooldown, so... Hmm... I think I'll just move them across this building slightly, yeah, and I'll get tied on the inside, tied on the inside, uh, yeah, that way he can dash and still be in full cover, and then Gubiak, you are just going to, you're going to cover the flank, I think, so I'll stick you on Overwatch, just in case anything does come from behind, and everyone else can go on Overwatch, there we go, now, is the enemy going to come towards me, or are they going to wait for me to come to them? Yeah, they're definitely in that building, I know that much. Hmm. It's really in I don't like the city missions too much, because it means snipers can't get any high ground besides rooftops, but there's no point being on the rooftops, because the enemy are usually inside. Yep, I am recording I Want Free. Sorry to disturb thee. Now, peace. Ooh. I'm going to run you there, just so you can see inside the building slightly. If there's any trouble, I'm running back. There's trouble. There's definitely trouble. So, I'm going to run you back. Ooh, if only Gubiak could get a rocket in there. Yeah, Peace, you're going back. I don't want to underestimate their movement. They could probably... Yeah, you're going inside, buddy. But that means I need to move tied. I need to move... Ooh. Hmm. I'm going to move tied here. Tide can go here and on Overwatch. And I think they should come to me now that I've aggroed them. Peace, you can only just run inside, so I didn't actually need to move tied. Luke, I need you in cover from that direction, so I think that'll do. 
I'm going to move you back one just in case. And Gubiak, you're going by this window. I know it's only in half cover, but it will do. I'm going to wait for the enemy to come towards me. Because they currently have the advantage just position. They're inside and they're in cover. And I'm outside on the street by explosive cars. And it's not even my turn. So, nope, they're not going to move. Alright, call me a faggot, but I'm sticking everyone on Overwatch again. And just seeing if anything changes. If they don't move towards me this turn, then I'm going to move in the next turn. And... In fact, no, fuck it, they don't move this turn, I'm going round. Ooh, is that, no, that's not movement, that's just hearing. Okay, yeah, I don't like the position, I don't like being out on the street, there's not as much cover as I thought, so I'm going round here. Also, I heard movement, so I think there's someone else. Hmm, Tide, can you run over there with a dash? Peace, I want you staying there. Fluke, you can run there. And Gubiak... You're staying on Overwatch in case those looters do come around the corner. So I'm going to take control of this building for now. At least whilst I don't know where the enemy is. Overwatch, Overwatch, and two people are just guarding the door, basically. Then I'm going to try and go through this door. So open that up. And there's nothing inside, so I'm going to move to the other door and open that up. And if there's anything on the other side, I can still take a shot. Oh, nothing on the other side, so I'm going to move everyone around the building now that I know it's safe. But I do still need someone covering the flank, so I'm gonna have Pete. Yeah, I'm gonna have Pete outside on the street. I think I'll have him over there actually. And Fluke, you can come. Hmm. I like that position, but I'm gonna go here first and stick him on Overwatch. And Gubiak, you're gonna dash away. You see, I don't want to go there because there could be enemies there still. So Gubiak, you are going. In fact, yeah, you're going outside with Fluke. I think that's everyone's turn. You're going on Overwatch. Won't let me finish until he's finished moving. So there we go. Now oh, let's see what happens from here on. This is very difficult, and I've only encountered two groups of enemies so far, so I'm wondering how big this level actually is. Not 100% sure. 100% <clears throat> sure, sorry about that. Okay, time to move in. Fluke, go there. Can you see anything? No, you can't. Hmm. Well, I'll stick you on Overwatch whilst other people move in. Peace. Sure. You're not staying out there alone, you're going with the rest of the group. And Gubiak, in fact no, and Tide, you can go to that piece of full cover there. And you'll still be able to run back, because that's not a dash. Nope, still nothing. So, overwatch for you. Gubiak, come round the corner, you can stand by the pipe. And you can go on overwatch. I know there's a lot of overwatch going on here, that's just because I know the enemy's still like chasing me down somewhere, somehow. I, I don't get it. Usually, usually the floaters always chase, but they're not. Alright, my next step would be to go in here, oops, go in here and kill the floaters. But there's this entire building here which I haven't looked into. So do I kill the enemy that I know where they are, or do I... Uh, I'm going to kill the enemy that I know I've aggroed, so... Tide, you're going over here and opening the door. Please tell me there's nothing inside. No, there isn't. So, I can move you in. And Fluke, you're going to dash in with him. So, he has two shotgun buddies. What well, you can't dash in. Okay, never mind. Fluke, you're going there, so you can take out anyone who comes through the building. Gubiak, you're going there, so you're in full cover. And Peace, you're going to stay near the back, but you're going to get a bit closer to him, I think. Now, please don't come out, because I'm in a really bad position here. I'm sandwiched between two buildings. And I've got the entire alley covered, but the thing is, the problem with the alley is there's like four different entrances. There's behind me, there's this building, there's down here, and there's this building. So, time to open the door and see if these floaters stuck around. Uh, apparently I can see... oh, they went on the outside of the building. Hmm, this means I can just take control of the building, doesn't it? Yeah, I can run in with my troops. So, Tide first of all... no, you're not running in, not when they can see you. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna take this risk. It's probably not gonna hit. It's only both. Oh, fucking tied. I, I take it back. I was totally worth it. 33% chance and it hit. Then, Fluke, you are gonna cover Tide's flank, so you're gonna move in by the dumpsters. And nope, nothing. So you're going on Overwatch. Gubiak, you're gonna stay there to cover that building and that building. And Peace, you're gonna stay there to cover the entire alley. Now, I wonder if I could take out the other one with Tide. What's he gonna do? He's only in half cover. Is he going to take a shot at Tide? No, he's going to do the rocket jump thing. Oh, I, no, I think that was just normal movement, actually. So do I give chase? Tide, you're going to move in, see if there's anything else in the shop. So, 
we'll move you there. And yeah, there's there's three septoids in the shop, so I'm gonna move Tide back. And oh, if only they ran the other way. They would have like ran straight into an ambush. Yep, Tide, you're coming back here. And you can't take a shot because they're around the corner. Gubiak, you are going there, so you have a better position. And Peace, you're going there, so you have a better position. And Gubiak, you're going on Overwatch. And Peace, you are going on... Oh yeah, you can't stick them on Overwatch, can you? I'll put you on your pistol and stick you on Overwatch. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Um, Fluke, you're... Oh, you haven't moved at all. Uh, sorry, Fluke, but you're going on Overwatch. I'm being boring today. It's a very difficult mission, so I, I don't want to get cocky, as I said. It started well. I've killed, like, two... Yeah, I've killed three aliens, but I'm not going to get cocky in anything. Yeah, that's not going to hit. That's not going to hit in a million years. There's a sniper shot and a pistol reaction shot. They're both going to miss, I think. Is it? No, not a sniper shot, sorry. A shotgun shot. And a LMG shot to kill that guy. That's going to miss, even with the aim or the scope module. Ah, uh, I basically wasted three clips. Although he's flanked. Why the hell did he run out there? Is he going to shoot? Uh, yep, yeah, he's going to shoot Gubiak and miss. I don't know why he didn't shoot Fluke there. Fucking knew it! Oh my god! Oh my god. I hate, I hate you. I hate you, Sectoids. I knew this alley was a bad idea. Oh my fuck. Right. Yep. Time to retreat, I think. But who do I retreat first? Right, right, right. Tide, you're already in a good position, I think. But can I get the guys inside this building? Hmm. Shit. Shit. Shit, shit. Fuck, nugget, shit. Alright, Gubiak, run. Run as fast as you can. Can't catch me, you're the Gubiak man. And Fluke, you're going on run and gun. Then you're getting the hell out of there, so you're going there. Tide, it's you I'm worried about. I don't think you're going to be able to get out of this alive. Ooh, no, you... I can just retreat him to the roof. Yes, I'm retreating Tide to the roof. Because that way, he's going to have the advantage of height, and it's going to be harder for people to hit him. So Tide, you're running all the way up there, and you're going to hunker down. Then, Fluke, can you actually take a shot uh, when Tide's finished moving? Tide's on the roof. Fluke, can you take a shot? 32% chance. I want to do that, but that means he only has one shot left in the shotgun, so I'm going to try with a pistol. It's only a sectoid, so I don't need the damage. That's also high percent, or it's more accurate. Only one damage. Oh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. No, it's not better than nothing. I should just suck Fluke on Overwatch, shouldn't I? Oh well. And 49% chance, 13% chance. What do I have? I switch to a pistol. Ooh, 53% chance. Two damage. Alright, fuck it. Oh no, I was going to hunker down! Why didn't I hunker down? I'm an idiot. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. And PC, you're moving out there so you can cover the entire alley again. Why am I so stupid? Overwatch for you. <sighs> I'm so sorry. How have I got this far in the game? I don't fucking know, honestly. What are you going to do? You're going to do the power link thing? I've never understood the advantage in that. It gives them one health, but it means they both die so much easily, or so much easier, and it wastes an entire turn, basically. Peace. Oh no, don't, don't. That, that's that's peace. That is peace injured. God dang it. Well, uh, peace. Can you at least take a shot on that dude with your sniper? I think you can. You should be able to. For 58% chance. Not liking those odds, especially if you're on free health. Could use a med kit on yourself, I suppose. But let's see if I can kill this alien fucker first. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Fluke. Can you take another shot? I'm going to keep firing with your pistol. Then if I kill this guy, that's good. If I don't kill him, I'm moving Fluke back. Tired, not too worried about you. I don't think they can crit for six, so... Let's try with your pistol. Then again, you are exposed to two enemies. So... Oh, if, I, if I can kill that dude... If I can kill that dude, then that means... No, not running gun. Ah, oh, 30% chance, fuck that. I was going to say if I can kill him and I can kill the other one. But you are just gonna fire with your pistol on this guy. Come on, kill him, please. No, stop fucking missing. Pistols are useless. I really want laser pistols because they may at least do some kind of damage. Gibby, you're gonna move here. It's not as dangerous as I thought out here. So, can you fire? 56% chance. Fuck it. Go. Come on, Gubiak, please. Yes! 
That means Peace is somewhat safe. I'm going to leave Peace in the alley and stick him on Overwatch. Thank God. Whew. I don't want Peace to die. Peace has been like from here from the very beginning and he's actually done good stuff. He's on Overwatch, so I need to be careful not to move. Kubiak can't shoot anything. The Fluke can't shoot anything. Peace can shoot. 28% chance, come on, you're a sniper. Hmm. Can I take another shot with Tide if that doesn't work out? Uh, what if I give you your shotgun? Can you not run a gun? 30% chance still. Oh, I need Tide in a better position. I'll move Tide there. That way you might be able to take a shot on that little guy down there. Can you... No. Okay, I take it back. You're just going on Overwatch. Dubiak, you're moving back out because you got the health too. And it means he'll probably shoot you as opposed to Peace. So you're moving there and you're going to take a shot on him. Can you do it, Gubiak? That's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. So, Peace, can you try and take a shot? Come on, Peace, you can do a 38% chance. That's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. That's gonna... Yep, that missed. I'm, I'm not playing with tactics or strategy at all. This is really bad of me. This is terrible of me. And I can run to full cover. Yes, you're going to full cover because you got the armor, you got the health. And hopefully, you can actually try and take down this alien. Shotgun, not using pistol, fuck that. Can you... Play six... Why are my chances so low? That's gonna hit. That's... Yes. Fuck yes. Okay. No. Don't don't fool me, music. You're not fading away. I know there's more enemies around. There's one... What is that? Oh, the floater's back. Ah, oh, tide. Oh, tide. How did the floater get up there? How... Where... What? Where did the floater go? I have no idea. Whew. Okay, Sectoid's running out. And he's flanked. What's he doing? No, 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 no. Peace. I fucking hate sectoids. Oh, don't panic, don't panic. Don't panic. Oh, my fuck. I am so sorry, Peace. I am so sorry. A fucking sectoid ended you. I I ran Gubiak out. I ran Fluke out. They were meant to take the shot for you. Oh, my fuck. Oh, I hate everything. Oh, can I get revenge? Revenge, it was him who shot him. It was fucking him. Come on, Tide, avenge him. Fuck you, Tide. Fuck you so much. Oh, Fluke. Why can't you take a shot, Fluke? Like, legitimately, what? I need to run Fluke back. Oh, fuck everything. Fuck everything. Fuck, uh, fuck everything. No, I don't need to run him back. He's going on Overwatch. Fuck, you're not running in again and killing... Oh, God. I was wondering where he went. And, of course, that misses. Point blank range with a shotgun, which means Luke has no ammo. Except in his pistol. He needs to reload. And he's fucking off into the building. Fuck knows where. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. He's using both his movement points. A surrounding Fluke. A surround... No. He's going to take a shot on Fluke. Fluke who's flanked. I oh no, he's taking shots. Why would you do that? I don't understand EVA. AI. It's really good. Like some kind of next level where I can't see what they're doing. Like when they shot peace even though I gave them two human target. I don't know. Out of ammo. And Fluke is out of ammo. Tide, tide, tide's out of ammo. Maybe they knew I was out of ammo, which is why Legitimately, I I, I think they knew I was out of ammo, which is why they moved in so close. If so, kudos to them. I'm running away. <laughs> I'm running away. I need to reload. I can't do this. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I know what I'm doing here. Definitely know what I'm doing here. Killing these two guys and possibly even the float if he's still inside. Is there 0% chance to hit? What is it saying? There we go. Okay. Okay, 10% chance I can fuck this up. 10% chance. Then. Oh, I didn't fuck it up. Thank God. That's two down. There's still a floater. There's still a sectoid. But I'm completely out of ammo on everyone. I need to reload. I need to turn to reload. Oh, God. I suppose I could try and use a pistol. No, 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 no. I can run and then use a pistol. If I run to a better position, like there. Sorry about the lag, by the way. I'm going to try and fix that quickly. Okay, it's not letting me fix the lag too much. So I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to think of something. First of all, Fluke, you're going to run and gun. You're going to go round here, so you're in full cover, then you're going to take a shot on the sectoid. I believe you should be able to, with your pistol. 
99% chance to hit. But can it... Oh, the float is still there. I didn't even know. 99% uh, chance to hit. 50% critical. If it criticals... If it criticals, then that's him dead. 50% chance. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nope, if it criticals, that's two damage. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Uh, can you, at least, Ty? Can you take a shot down on... Why not? Come on. Why? Why, 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 why? Uh, hmm. I could move tight. I don't want to move him down there because the floater's there. I can run and gun tied there. Yes. That's what I'm doing. Run and gun. Going all the way down there. And shooting the hell out of that sectoid. I think it's going to be 80% chance and it's going to end up missing. Just knowing my luck. Oh, come on. 83% chance. I was close. But no, that's not going to miss. That's going to kill him. Good. Thank fuck. And of course now it does a free critical. Floater, you can't kill me. I, I'm not scared of you. There are pigeons in this game. I have no idea. Pigeons OP. Don't sh oh, I was, I was He still knows I'm out. He knows I'm out of ammo. That is really. I like that in a weird way. But I have an idea. You are gonna. You don't have a pistol. You can't shoot with your pistol. Fluke, you're gonna shoot with your pistol. 73% chance. No, you're gonna move in close and shoot with your pistol. You're gonna move in there and then shoot with your pistol. Come on. Wait, no. Flooring my plan. You can't stun after moving and you're not within range of stunning right now, are you? Yes, you are. Okay, never mind. So, shoot with your pistol. 89% chance. That, that's going to kill him. It's going to fucking kill him. Damn it, I was going to capture him. Now it does free damage critical, of course. But that wasn't the last enemy like I thought it was. So, I think it's time to reload, probably. It's actually our main weapons. I love that. I love the fact I ran out of ammo and I had to reload and the enemy was being really aggressive so I can... That was a nice change in the bat or standard battles anyway, I guess. Whew, that was exhausting though. I was I can't believe I lost peace. It's only just caught up with me. Now, where am I going? I was gonna fully explore this building, so I suppose Tide you can open the door. Tide, please don't be enemies. Please don't be enemies. Good. Taking you on overwatch. Bubiak, you're gonna run over there. And Fook. You are gonna run over Hmm. You're gonna go there for now. Oh, you still need to reload, you do. So, there we go. Switch to that and reload your shotgun. Reloaded. I love these moments. Uh. Okay, okay. I thought that was a lot worse. I thought that was gonna be like a giant bulldozer there or some kind of enemy. Oh, oh, yeah. That fucking happens every time. Are you. Are you serious? Oh, at least it was only a sectoid. And at least it was fluke. And at least it wasn't a critical. I. I. I hate this thing. In fact. Uh, no, I was going to stun it, but why are you flanked? How are you flanked? I don't even know. I was going to stun it, but I can't after moving, so now I'm just going to fuck the shit out of it with a shotgun. Why not? Luke, you can have a kill because he just kind of shot you, so 100% chance to hit. This can't fuck up. Can't fuck up at all. I think that's going to be the last alien. Yes, it is. 10 aliens killed, one operative piece. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry, but oh, I can't believe that. Panic in France! Why are France panicking? I, I, I don't... Why are Argent... What's happened? I haven't done anything wrong. I saved a country. Does that mean I've lost two more countries? Because if so, I think I've lost the game. <laughs> Legitimately, I, uh, I'm worried. I think there would have been a cinematic, but peace. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Gubiak, let's see what we can get you. Shredder Rocket, I really like that. And that's really good for later in the game. Suppression, that is also really good though. I'm going to go for Rocket just because I do need that damage. And it, as I said, it is very important in the late game. Suppression is really good. But I would rather just take a shot than suppress someone, even if my chances are lower. Especially because he has for scope. So there you go, you're having the Shredder Rocket. Tide, meanwhile, has been given the nickname Dice. Uh, reaction shots to miss or critical chance against... Uh, reaction shots to miss. I want Tide to stay alive. Whew, okay, only one person lost. And got some corpses, weapon fragments, and more corpses. Engineers! Fuck yes. You know what that means. Da -da 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 -da. Build and buy items. Da -da -da -da. Finally some armor. Finally. I'm giving that to everyone. I don't care. I'm getting four of those. I think, yeah, that uses a lot of alloys, but I need that. I need that so badly. And I can also build a satellite uplink, I think. No, I need money. Okay, that's not a problem. I can just sell some stuff that I don't need, so I'll go to the grey market. And... 
and uh, oh yeah, I, I can just sell these, so I don't need to research them. Well, I, I'm not going to sell all of them. I'm going to sell enough to get money, or sell like that much. I think that should be enough. And how do I sell? Oh, complete transaction. There we go. And then I can build facilities. Another satellite uplink. These are so important. I should have started building them earlier, but nope. That'll allow me to launch for two satellites I have, and in fact, no, it'll be three because there's an adjacent one. So in that case, I'm probably going to build another satellite whilst I'm at it. But I think that's enough for this episode. Thank God I didn't bring the rookies along. I'm going to quickly outfit everyone with the armor to see how it affects them. Oh, I am so happy. Uh, should prove to be light and I think that means they can move further. I think that's really good if it moves further. But yeah, that gives him three extra HP and it makes him move faster, I believe. So I am giving that to everyone. Thank God. So I'm currently back down to six soldiers. That means I'm going to need a challenge for the next episode so I can bump up my numbers a bit. Hopefully I'm going to train those two rookies if I manage to get an easy mission. And I'm so sorry, Peace. I'm so sorry. You rank third in all the units I've had so far. In fact, no. I'm, yeah, you rank probably top or second. Fucking hell, Peace. I'm so sorry to lose you. I'm so sorry. But I'll also show you the situation room. I've lost United States, Canada, and China. That means I've lost three countries. If I lose five more, I'm very close to losing Mex- if I, I'm going to lose Mexico, Argentina, and France at the end of this month unless I sort my shit out. Which means I can only lose two more after them, and then I've lost the game. As well as if I lose my units, obviously. But this has been my episode of The Crew vs. XCOM Enemy Unknown. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a rating if you did, and remember to leave a challenge so I can try and get a soldier next episode. Make sure it's a challenge that actually teaches me how to be good at the game, not just one that's going to handicap me like you're only allowed to use sidearms or you can only use one person because that's fucking difficult. This is me, Emswell Z111, out. Peace. Okay, Sectoid's running out and he's flanked. What's he doing? No, 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 no. Peace. I fucking hate Sectoids. Oh, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic.